But across the state line, property owners in Johnson County, Kansas, will now be getting a tax estimate in the mail. It's coming this month. It's an issue impacting everyone, so KSHB 41's Grant Stevens sought out experts to get insight on how property taxes work in Kansas and talk to someone who it affects. Okay. Can you show me this one? This one right here, how you spin around. All the changes in mill levies and tax structure just about makes your head spin. You want me to spin with you? We met Amanda Scheibe at a park in Olathe. It's for the news, honey. She's one of the thousands of Johnson Countyans who've noticed taxes climbing up each year. A little bit more than I used to notice in the past. For the second year, the state of Kansas is making those comparisons easier. In just a few days, Kansans will be getting these estimated tax notices in their mail. It's something the state State hopes clears up some of the cloudiness around tax season. The idea is to get ahead of questions people might have. It's an estimate. It gives them a good idea of what is being proposed. Each letter is a custom report. 240,000 sure. individualized <laughs> things. That's a lot. You know, it, it is. They show what rates your city, county, or district would need to levy to keep your taxes the same as last year and shows their proposed changes with a yes or no if they plan on increasing. I've seen a lot of yeses. Which brings us back to the people who feel those increases. <laughs> Shibe is all for the extra transparency. You know, I can at least see my tax dollars at work. Providing things like the park I met her at. I mean, that's what's kept me here. Even with increases, a little clarity goes a long way. Does yes. it make you feel better being on the Johnson County side? Yes, yes. In Olathe, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.